Hi, everyone. I'm Masato from Earth Species Project. Today, I'd like to present AVs, Animal Vocalization Encoder, based on self-supervision. The use of machine learning, especially deep neural network models, has become increasingly popular in bioacoustics in recent years. However, most recent studies still rely on species-specific customized CNNs trained on a small amount of task-specific annotated data. This is mostly due to the lack of labeled data in bioacoustics, because collecting high-quality annotation in bioacoustics requires deep expertise and is often costly in terms of the time required for manual labeling. One solution to these issues is self-supervision, which is a type of machine learning technique where the training signals come from the data itself in the form of pseudo-labels. In recent years, large-scale self-supervised models, which are often called foundation models, combined with transfer learning, have been hugely successful in related domains such as computer vision, natural language processing, and human speech processing. And we expect that similar approaches are also effective for bioacoustics tasks. So in this presentation, we propose AVIS, which stands for Animal Vocalization Encoder based on self-supervision, which is a self-supervised transformer-based audio representation model for encoding animal vocalization. AVIS is first pre-trained on a large amount of unlabeled audio data sourced from public datasets, such as FSD 50K, AudioSet, and VGG Sound, In order to model raw waveforms with self-supervision, we use a model called Hubert, uh, which is hidden unit BERT, an audio representation model originally proposed for human speech. After pre-training, we fine-tune AVIS for downstream bioacoustics tasks. Here, we use the tasks and datasets from BEANS, which is a collection of bioacoustics tasks and public datasets, specifically designed to measure the performance of machine learning algorithms in the field of bioacoustics. Here's a summary of the results. AVs outperforms all the strong baselines and even the supervised top line models trained on annotated audio classification datasets. Here, we show the plot of learned representations from AVs. You can see that AVs was able to learn similar representations for the same and closely related animals, such as birds and crows, explaining the strong performance on many classification datasets. To conclude, in this presentation, we presented AVIS, Animal Vocalization Encoder, based on self-supervision. The pre-trained models are publicly available on this GitHub repository. Thank you for listening.